What's going on guys, it's Nate here, and Skyrim isn't known for having the most impressive vanilla graphics in our modern age. Back in 2011 at release, I think they were at least acceptable, but by 2017 standards, well, not so much. Thankfully, there exists a plethora of mods and ENBs meant to resolve that very problem, that will greatly increase the resolution of your game's textures and overall make Skyrim look and feel more up to date. However, today I present a mod that does the opposite of that. This is the Artistic Skyrim Overhaul Pixar Edition, a mod that actually lowers the resolution of nearly all of the game's textures to give Skyrim a much more simplistic look and feel. And while lowering the resolution of existing textures, the mod also creates some of its own new low-res textures and effects, wherever the creators deem necessary to complement the ones already in the game, in order to create somewhat of a consistent style that doesn't feel dull, but in fact very vibrant and alive. Judging by the preset name Pixar, you can probably give a very fine guess as to where this style gets its inspiration. Nonetheless, I think people will really appreciate this mod for the rather unique and quite charming new take it gives on this game's visuals. While most most mods are focused on realism, this mod wants to change the entire art style into something that feels more cartoonish. And despite boasting a simpler and lower resolution appearance compared to vanilla Skyrim, this version arguably looks more aesthetically pleasing to me. Perhaps it's just getting to play Skyrim, a game that I've been looking at for so many years through an entirely different visual perspective that makes me so interested in this mod. I found myself desperately trying on different armors in order to see how they all looked, and going to different towns just to see how their appearance would evolve. Admittedly, characters still feel a bit off, even for a mod whose goal is to, well, do just that. But even the more realistic retextures often can turn characters into cover girls more than common people, so I can forgive the mod for that. The ASO team also highly recommends that use the tetrachromatic ENB with their project, as it seems to create lighting and depth of field effects that suit their new textures very appropriately. While we're on the topic of recommendations, the Artistic Skyrim Overhaul's compatibility also extends to the popular Cloaks of Skyrim mod. Though if you're using any other mods added in custom weapons or armors or things that design their own custom textures and the like, you risk getting some very much not so consistent results. Notable about this mod is you'll likely see some major performance improvements when it's installed, for obvious reasons. Even on my system, which I consider to be pretty high-end if I do say so myself, I still noticed much faster loading times and better frame rates, so if performance is a concern of yours with most retextures or ENBs, rest assured you can sleep easy with this one installed. Keep in mind too, due to these excessive performance increases, you'll also get the opportunity to really push your game to the limit with most tasks, such as NPCs being spawned in. While I haven't done any specific counting, it seems as though I I'm able to spawn in around three times as many NPCs as I'm normally able to. On top of the Pixar version that this video is showing off, there also exists other presets within the Artistic Skyrim overhaul, such as an oil one and a paint theme, though I do again highly prefer the Pixar version, as it's given me my favorite results, hence the entire video on it. Since this mod retextures pretty much everything, you're not going to want to have any additional retextures stacked on top of these mods, so make sure you disable those before you begin. The ASO is available for both Skyrim editions on the PC through the Nexus, as well is available on the Xbox One through Bethesda.net. Unfortunately, because Sony doesn't want to share their sandbox with anyone else, this mod is not available on the PlayStation 4. But with that very somber note, we're going to wrap up. Links will be in the description down below to the Nexus pages. Be sure to leave an endorsement if you do enjoy this mod. It doesn't seem to be nearly as popular as I believe it deserves to be. And if you enjoyed the video as well, like ratings are always very much appreciated. And what style altering mods do you use in Skyrim often? Leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching everyone, and I hope to see you all in my next video. Peace out everybody.